Hello, and Pockets here, back again with part two of my deployable alpha alt uh, guide, I suppose. Uh, this second piece is Convocation of Imperium specific, or Malro specific. However, some it may be interesting for you non Malro people as well to see something, but kind of behind the scenes. So, if you haven't already seen the first part of this series where we set up our deployable alpha and queue up the Magic 14 and get them into position. I recommend you go watch that now. There should be a card on the screen about now. And if not, there'll be a link to it in the description down below as well. Uh, this second part of the series, or the second part of that guide, is to set up what Convocation calls a QRF alt, Quick Response Force. This is an alpha-specific, alpha-friendly uh, fleet composition we use for, defend for defending our assets, you know, down in low sack or in a wormhole or wherever we might need them. Uh, the point is that we can create these the, these characters for free and they can de deploy, be deployed depending on current activities. Uh, check with your the people running your programs about whether you need a QRF alt anywhere and yeah, make it make it happen. Uh, it's highly recommended that everybody has at, has at least one. You know, COE is not a high set combat corp, so maybe our a friend's structure becomes under attack. Let's say one of our friend's structures becomes under attack and COE is deploying to help defend it. At the point where the attacks are happening and we're deploying, a lot of people come to us and say, hey, how can I help? If you're not already set up, it's probably too late. So for example, this would be a case where if we had a wormhole that we needed to defend, you'd want a character like this already in position. So when time comes to use it, you can log into it and it's ready to go. The idea is, okay, you create your deployable, you deploy it to the Ford operating base according to whoever's in charge of that activity, so to NullSec or to somewhere in low sec or to a wormhole or just in Pemmin for high sec shenanigans. The first thing you want to do is apply to Pew Bears. Pew Bears is Convocation of Empyrean's uh, defense fleet. That's where we put a lot of our PvPers. We dabble in some low sec PvP from there as part of our training and that sort of thing, but it's also a corp outside of the alliance that can become that can start war decks to go and attack something or defend a, or to join a war and help defend a friend structures defend our own structures so get him into pew bears uh, it's pretty easy to do you can just type in pew i think it's two words uh oh in a while it might be this one right here pew bears right click show info my suggestion is from here you apply to join in your notes, application text, this is Keltorin slash pockets QRF alt or something. Just let them know who it is. One of the recruiters will also, when they get to this application, will reach out to you on Discord and verify that this is, in fact, one of your alts. So you do that and then you wait. That's fine there. Uh, the next step to getting this all done, which can also speed up the process, is to register it as an alt on the Aderon website. Now, and try to do this without giving away any critical information. So there's our magic 15 or 14. Again, if you don't know what this is, go look at my other previous video. So we're going to go here. This is it. Oh no, you can see all my characters. Uh, and you just click here, you add the character. I'm going to do this off screen, but you add this character to the alts and it'll add it here and you can, it basically ties it to your main account. And that'll help you speed things along as well. So stand by while I do that. I'm not gonna do that live because I don't want you to see like login names and usernames and passwords and stuff like that. So stand by while I get this uh, rolling. Okay, so there you go. So I clicked on this button, punched in the information for Erin's account, and now she's listed here as one of my alts. So the nice thing, this nice thing here, uh, what speeds this up is the recruiters can check if you're registered, and they can tie it. And see, yep, this is definitely a Keltoran alt, and we're good to go. Okay, so definitely do that step. Um, during the purge, if your alts are not registered in Pew Bears, they will be purged. It's just a security thing. So we're done with that. Next step. So I've got this character. She's training her Magic 14, and the time comes to pull out all the stops and get this character in a ship. What do I do? Well, it's really simple. We have a QRF skill plan. So as I said in the previous video, I highly recommend using Evemon. So we're going to start there. Oh, there we go. There's Aaron, there's our Q. So now we need to import our Q. And it's going to be very much like the Magic 14. Currently, it's if you're on the Discord, it's in the PvP chat channel. 
it's in the pins um, it's still in development so at this point we highly recommend that you do not apply the skill plan until you need to use the character in a fleet let it train the magic 14 you can start picking away at some of the skills uh, especially like the weapon the the gunnery support skills uh, in particular for this fleet but it's the day that we need to use the character so we're going to use the current the current version of the qrf plan that makes sense so do it as late in the process as you can so you always have the most up-to-date version of the plan uh, we're tweaking some of the fits so some of the skills might change again that's another advantage to having other magic 14 characters ready in the background so if for whatever reason the plan changes drastically you can scrap those qrf alts and switch to a new waiting in the wings alt Let's bring up the skill plan. So this is just a text file I have for the skill plan right now. Copy and paste it from the current uh, PVP deal. We're gonna bring up, we're gonna copy this to our clipboard. Select all, copy. We're gonna go into Erin because she is now being deployed. And we're going to go plans, new plan, QRF V1 or whatever you wanna do. Whatever it is. And we're gonna paste it in just like we did with the Magic 14 in the previous video. So 46 days to train. And then we're just gonna start applying these skill points. So step one, open character. Screen, here we go. Step two, redeem our million skill points and our ISK might as well. Okay, so this is the right half an hour from now, we're gonna be deploying to defend something. That's when I'm doing this. You know, or the day before if we know it's coming. I will stop the queue. We're going to clear these out for now. And we're going to start at the top of the list, which is Kaldari Frigate. Boom. Start here, Kaldari Frigate. And we want that trained all the way up to three. So we are going to apply skill points. Two, three, two, nine is one way to do it. The other option is to like throw it in here and then hit apply and then confirm it. So that's the other way to do it. It's a little bit quicker. And then we're going to do destroyer to three. So we look here. Now, one of the things we're going to do is you will get all the skill books you need from Malro from COE when you do this. So you just talk to your um, recruiter and we'll get all that done. Uh, what I'm going to do at this point, because I do need it right away, so I'm just going to send some ISK to her for now. I don't want to steal a bundle from somebody else. So stand by while I get her some ISK and we'll just buy the skills she needs. But the skill, the skill books will be supplied by the Alliance, so don't worry about that. Uh, the only thing you need to do is make the character and put in the work. So stand by while I send some ISK. There we go. So this character is now all trained up, ready to be a QRF pilot. It jumps in any of the ships in that doctrine uh, as needed for whatever the operation is. And yeah, it's pretty awesome. This gets you in the fleet so you can help defend the, the, your structures and our ally structures and all and whatever else we might need to do with this fleet. So it's a pretty easy system. I think the whole thing took me under half an hour. I uh, hope that helps. I hope that alleviates some of the concerns. So in recap, we got our one of our deployable alphas trained up to a QRF alt quick response fleet uh, for the convocation, applied to the, the Pew Bears Corporation, and ideally deployed to whatever forward operating base we want them at. Uh, so please, if you're in the, Q uh, the convocation of Empyreans, make one of these characters and get it deployed wherever our primary forward operating base is at the time that you do it. Uh, talk to the staff, talk to the recruiters, they will get that and have or get that information for you. Uh, but get, please get at least one deployed. Even if you never use it, it's better to have it there and not use it than to come to the day when something's to do and go, I want to help and you can't because you're not ready. From here, feel free to start queuing up some of these other skills, max out you know, your support skills in the various weapon systems, especially gunnery so that you can just make a better alt. You might as well keep it training until you get your 5 million free SP capped, right? And yeah, so that's going to be it for this video, guys. Hope that helped. Since most of you should be from the Convocation, thank you for your support and your help in being prepared to defend our assets. And we'll see you all next time. If you have any questions, hit any of the staff up on Discord. Check the information channels. You know where they are. And if you can't find the information, definitely reach out. We will get it for you. Just because you don't see it doesn't mean it's not there. Until next time, take care of each other, and I'm out of here.